Tell me. <laughs> Welcome to Life in the Jazz Lane. Another episode. I have something really special for you guys today. It is a spooky Halloween butternut squash and shrimp pasta, linguine pasta. So excited, so happy that I get to do this with you guys because honestly, I've never made this before. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy, what's wrong with me? I do this all the time. Um, this is part of my life. I tend to always find things that I love or things that just kind of intrigue me in the store. Sounds good, looks like it should go together, and then I just like mix it up and toss it all together. And I make it good, and I make it smell great, and I add some love, and I add some dancing, and it always comes out great. My husband eats it, my kid eats it, and hey, why not? So today, I will be using this really cool Halloween. I'm gonna say Halloween like that every time. Halloween pasta that is from um, Principal Pantry, which is really cool. It is a butternut squash pasta and a squid ink pasta. We'll talk a little bit about pasta down the line because I know how some people are when it comes to what they're eating. We obviously want to think about that when we're putting in our bodies. And I always try to find things that are simple, doesn't have like a lot of like additives or things that um, obviously are not going to be good and nutritious for our bodies. Um, but I also try to keep it simple because I mean, we're wives, we're moms, we're business women. We don't have time. So I'm about to mix this all up, put it in a pot, make it shake, make it, make it delicious, make it great. And um, let's get this uh, cooking show on the road. So first things first, we are going to get this squash boiled. Um, some, if you really want to, if you care, you can use a whole squash, you can bake it, you can put it in the oven on 350, do all that good stuff. But again, I'm gonna throw these in a pot of boiling water. I'm gonna let them boil for like 10, 15 minutes on high. That way I can um, smush them up, kind of like how you would like sweet potatoes or mashed potatoes. Smush it up, add it to my sauce in the processor, and it'll be ready to go, along with my um, Alfredo sauce that I'm going to, well, my Parmesan cheese sauce that I'm going to make with it. I usually just fill it up about halfway. This is life. I, I literally, I'm not measuring cups, all that, I don't have time. This is uh, about three to five servings. Just drop them in there, just like that. Stove, that on. And those will start boiling down. We'll let those cook a little bit more in here. All right, now next we're gonna take some butter and we're going to start to make our sauce. I'm taking two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna throw it in my little hot pot. That's all sauce. And ready to go very simple now I used to always make my alfredo sauce well I never made my alfredo sauce actually I used to use sauce out the jar much like this sauce um, and I never had confidence to make my own I didn't even know it was like really a thing but I would always use um, sauce from the jar and I remember the first time that I ever made carry Alfredo pasta. It was so disgusting. <laughs> and he told me, and to this day, he has told me that that was literally the worst thing I have ever made for him. So I decided to learn how to make pasta sauce from scratch, some would say, but whatever. So we're gonna take the butter. We're gonna take a little bit of minced garlic. Just gonna scrape a little bit out. Throw that on there just to get the sauce a nice little flavor. I cook a lot with garlic. I cook a lot with garlic seasoning. Um, it's just my favorite. Usually when I use this type of garlic, any type of minced garlic, I um, don't usually use like a garlic sauce or anything like that because I don't want it to be too crazy. But as that like simmers down and works together, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some half and half. To this 
And then I'm also gonna add some shredded Parmesan cheese to this and I'm gonna melt it down and add a little bit of this butternut squash that I found at Home Goods. It was $6.99, it was delicious too. I added it to another pasta that I had. But today I'm gonna add it to this pasta sauce just to give it a little bit extra oomph when we're talking about the butternut taste and to make it a little bit more creamy, a little bit more thick. Again, I've never made this pasta before. So this right here is just me kind of like throwing things together. We're making this recipe together. That's what makes it spooky. It makes it scary. Because <laughs> we don't know what it's gonna taste. <laughs> if anyone would have told me how easy it was to make your own Alfredo sauce, I'd have been doing this a long time ago. But here we are with our half and half. Got our butter and our um, garlic going. We're gonna do one cup of half and half. Pour that in there. Just a little more. I don't want it to be. Spooky. <laughs> So I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit. I turn my fire down. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of shredded cheese. Now, here's my thing. I can't really notice what that is going on in here. Like, like who, who would, right? So I'm gonna take my whisker and I'm just gonna sprinkle cheese sprinkle in here. Me, as I go. Sprinkle me, sprinkle. Just like that. Again, I have my stuff down low. And then I'm just gonna whisk this. This is literally how you make your own Alfredo sauce. Right? Now since we're doing a delicious butternut squash Alfredo pasta with a little bit of Parmesan, we're gonna take our butternut squash that we boiled earlier and got them all nice and soft. We're gonna throw them in a food processor. We're gonna mix a little bit of this butternut squash sauce, you know, just to give it a little bit of tang wang. And we're gonna mix it all together, okay? A little bit more cream, just to get this a little bit more thick. Cause she's thick. <laughs> yes. So for all my ladies out there that are buying the jarred pasta, like that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. I know like, you know, we want to keep it simple, but it's even easier to just get some half and half. So after further research, I realized you can use half and half in replace of your heavy whipping cream and even better that we're having to add some things into this that this is not going to just be the base of our pasta it's really just going to be the base of the creaminess of our pasta <laughs> look at that that's why it's spooky pregnancy brain i thought that i ordered whipping cream i ordered half and half I'm making an alfredo sauce y'all we in this together <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take our sauce, all three of them, we're going to mix them together in the food processor. I added my sauce, I added a little bit of the butternut squash sauce, and I also added my, not fresh, but our frozen butternut squash, just to give it a little bit thicker of a consistency. I'm gonna throw it into my handy dandy Nutribullet, and then we're gonna mix it all up. We have our sauce, nice and thick. I'm excited about this. We are going to do our noodles next and we will mix everything together along with our shrimp. So let's move on over to that. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same pot that I used to um, make my Alfredo sauce. Not a big deal to me, y'all know. I mean, it is what it is. So just gonna throw it in there like that. And I'll just take a little bit out the middle, just to, just, just a little, little razzle-dazzle. 
That looks delish. That leaves me about like half a thing of pasta. If I want to make more sauce, if I want to make another quick dish with this, like I definitely can do that. Obviously, this is a simple quick meal. You just boil the noodles down and you just add your pasta sauce. Okay, so with the same pan that we use to make our sauce, just, you know, for good reason, I'm going to add a little bit of my basil olive oil. Again, another find from Home Goods. I love getting these cool little finds at Home Goods. They just make your meals a little bit more exciting. <laughs> they make your meals just a little bit more fun, like, to make because it's different. You don't see these things in the store. You always just are seeing like the basic you know ragu and stuff like that and you go to home goods you get to find really cool stuff like i don't, I don't even know what brand this is or who this is. i'm gonna take my shrimp it's already cleaned i'm gonna add it to my pan and go ahead and season it with a little bit of black pepper another one so I like to use um, sea salt when I am cooking seafood. <laughs> I don't know. It just, I feel like it works. Um, some onion powder. Not too much. And just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Apparently, you can check and see if spaghetti noodles are done. Who is hot? <laughs> you can check and see if spaghetti noodles are done by this really cool trick. This is a big ass noodle. Okay, you throw it on the wall and if it sticks, it's ready. Here we go. <laughs> so now I have mixed all my stuff together. I literally, like this just by itself is like a nice little garlic parmesan shrimp, spooky, linguine, like little push, right? And then we just gonna take our sauce and we gonna throw that right on top of that and keep it real simple. It looks so good. And can we not forget, because I'm gonna mention again, this is the first time that I have ever made this. Okay, so whenever I have pasta um, or any type of dinner meal I like to add a salad into my meal salad a day keeps the doctor away <laughs> I know people are like whatever who cares but me personally I'm all about a good salad so I'm just gonna whip up a quick little salad here put carrots in here I'm thinking about doing a giveaway um, for my 100th subscriber I think that would be really fun to do so, I'm going to need you guys to make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe to my channel. Peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, carrots, like I said. Pretty much like all the way prepped for you, for the most part. I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, I have to season my salad. If you don't season your salad, me, that's your business. That ain't got nothing to do with me, but I'm going to season my salad, okay? Just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Just to give it a little bit of twang. That's all you got to do. That's Here we have it, our meal is all done. Our spooky linguine butternut squash and shrimp pasta. I am so excited to try this. We're gonna try it together, okay? Here we go. Mm, that's, that's good. I sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan cheese on here. Got my shrimp going. Mm, mm, mm. Take a big bite, let's go. Mm, mm. That's good. 
Not a big difference. Mmm, a little spicy from the cayenne pepper. Not a big difference from a regular pasta, but a big, fun, exciting twist because, of course, we have the Halloween-themed colored noodles. We have the butternut squash, which is seasonal. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Always keep a good salad. And we're in this together, like I said. Look, make sure you guys try this recipe. I'll make sure that I drop it for you guys. Make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Let me know in the comments how this tasted for you. That's important for me because we gotta know if we're gonna make it again, right? And make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like. I'm gonna finish eating. This is good. I don't even know what to tell y'all. Yes. And make sure that I see you guys on the next episode of Life in the Jazz Lane. Oh, I have something so exciting for the kids. Something so excited for the moms. And it's going to be super fun. So make sure you guys tune in to part two of this video.